Welcome. In this video, we're diving into the FedEx Live Rates free plugin for WooCommerce by Octalize. It's a handy solution that brings real-time FedEx shipping rates straight into your store. And the best part? It's 100% free. What are Live Rates plugin? Let's start with a closer look at what Live Rates plugin really is. Unlike flat or fixed shipping rates, Live Rates plugins connect your online store directly with shipping carriers like for example, UPS, FedEx, USPS or DHL via their APIs. This connection allows the plugin to fetch up-to-date shipping prices dynamically, considering factors such as the weight and size of the package, the destination address, and even the shipping service selected. This means your customers get real-time precise shipping costs every time they check out. No guessing, no surprises. If you would like to learn more about what affects rates, check out our blog. Table Rate versus Live Rates Understanding the difference between table rates and live rates is essential for WooCommerce shipping. So, in a nutshell, table rates are basically manually set shipping method, where the store owner defines fixed rates based on different conditions. An example of such a product is our flexible shipping plugin, which is primarily based on table rate rules. If you'd like to learn more about this product, we invite you to watch our other videos. Extra hint, recently we added an AI feature to our main plugin, Flexible Shipping, which makes setting up these rules even easier and faster. On the other hand, live rates are pulled directly from the shipping carrier system in real time. This means prices are always accurate, reflecting current surcharges and other variables. So which plugins are better? The answer is, neither, it all depends on your shipping needs and how much control you want over your shipping costs. How to configure FedEx Live Rates plugin? Configuring the FedEx Live Rates plugin is simple, and I'll guide you through it step by step. First, download plugin files from the WordPress plugin search section or WordPress repository. You can find the plugin easily by typing FedEx Octalize plugin in both places. Next, install and activate the plugin from your WordPress dashboard or via FTP. If you don't know how to do it, feel free to watch the video on our channel or read the tutorial on the blog. Then, hit the button Settings. Enter your connection credentials. If you do not have a FedEx account, we invite you to follow our step-by-step -step guide to create an account and obtain the necessary accesses. Important note, we recommend using REST API connection type. This setting will ensure the greatest stability. After getting the connection and receiving the status, we can proceed to configure the plugin. Remember that with each setting, you have a hint that will explain what the setting means. The first section is Method Settings. The first option in this section is Method Enable. This is where you globally enable the FedEx shipping method. What is important at this stage is FedEx in the free version cannot be enabled per shipping method. The pro version allows you to do so, and we encourage you to purchase and take advantage of the plugin's full potential. Second option is Title Method. I, for example, We'll call this method FedEx shipping. Furthermore, you can specify the fallback, which is backup shipping cost. Last option in this section is custom services, and this allows you to enable or disable FedEx services. You can also sort them using these three horizontal lines. The next section is rate adjustments. In this section, you will find three options. First, insurance. Click it if you want to include shipping insurance in the shipping amount. Second option is rate type. In these settings you can specify which type of rates to use by choosing from, all possible rates, list rates or account rates. To get account rates on your FedEx account, you must first contact FedEx technical support to activate them. If you already have account rates assigned and activated on your FedEx user account, but want to display standard rates, list rates to customers, select rate type, all possible rates. The last option in this section is the destination address type. Here you can choose which destination address type business or residential should be used by default. Note that our plugin uses domestic FedEx ground home delivery services. Please note that not every service shown here may be available for the customer to choose every time, depending on the weight of the package, origin and destination. Advanced options is the next section. Here you will find the option to enable debugging mode, which we will learn more about in the troubleshooting section of this video. The second option is the units of measurement. By default, the plugin uses the store settings. If you change the units, they will be converted to the units required by FedEx. The last section is additional costs by flexible shipping table rate. We have video about this feature. 
In short, you can combine our most popular plugin with FedEx and set various parameters. That's it. You can press the save button and proceed to testing your new plugin. Troubleshooting. If you run into any issues or unexpected results, don't worry, we're here to help. First, it's worth mentioning that we constantly update and expand our documentation every week, adding new content to make finding solutions easier than ever. We highly recommend checking it out whenever you encounter problems, you'll often find the answer ready for you. Another significant worth mention thing is the debug mode. This tool is built into every one of our plugins and serves as the primary way to quickly and effectively diagnose issues when they arise. Using debug mode can save you a lot of time and help resolve problems faster. Troubleshooting, no shipping options available. One of the most common errors with any shipping plugin is the message. There are no shipping options available or no shipping options are available for this address. Please verify the address is correct or try a different address. If you see this, here are the usual causes. A mismatch between your store currency and your FedEx account currency. FedEx services unavailable for the specific shipping and delivery addresses. Incorrect or incomplete FedEx shipping credentials. Exceeded weight or dimension limits for the selected shipping method. Shipping options or services not properly configured in the plugin settings. Network or API connection issues between WooCommerce and FedEx. In such cases, it's a good idea to enable the debug mode we mentioned earlier. This will show detailed information in the cart or checkout about why the shipping method isn't working. If you don't see debug info right away, you can trigger it by changing the cart contents or temporarily modifying the shipping address. If you don't see an error message when you turn debug mode on, there's a good chance that, for example, the service is unavailable. If this is the case, you should go to the FedEx website, log in and check what services are available for the shipment and whether you have them enabled on FedEx. Troubleshooting, rates discrepancy. If you notice a difference in shipping rates, the first step is to log into the FedEx rate calculator and enter the same package dimensions, sender, and recipient details as in WooCommerce. Compare the rates shown there with what your plugin displays. Minor differences are normal because the FedEx calculator and the plugin provides an estimate, not an exact match. However, if the discrepancies are significant, it's a good idea to review your shipping method settings in WooCommerce especially the rates adjustment section. Adjusting these settings can help minimize the differences and ensure the rates shown in your store are as close as possible to the actual FedEx charges. Troubleshooting, other errors. If you see an error followed by a code or number, it usually means there's an external API error coming from FedEx. To learn more about these errors, we invite you to check our documentation, where we explain the most common FedEx error codes, what they mean, and how to fix them. If you found our free WooCommerce FedEx Live Rates plugin helpful, we're confident you'll love the Pro version even more. The Pro version unlocks powerful features designed to streamline your shipping process and boost your store's efficiency. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or need help, feel free to leave a comment below. We're always happy to assist. See you next time.